All right, loading five, 2.0. It's the second time around. If it's nice, did I hear you say do it twice? Did you read my mind? All right, you're gonna need two, oops, sorry about that. You're gonna need two sets of weights, a light pair, five pounds or lighter for your weighted cardio. We will also be using these weights to elevate our heel, so make sure that you've got a flat edge or something. If you don't, a book, a block, a yoga block. A yoga block might be a little bit high, so maybe a book and make it, like it's not a dictionary or something like that. Maybe, you know, a nonfiction novel kind of, or a fiction novel, either one would work. And then you need a pair really heavy. Do you see that orange pair back there? Really heavy because today is all about the bam, the bam, and the bam, 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 bam. No music, so if you wanna put some on on your end, let's get going. Lucky for you peeps, I have remembered to set up my handy dandy alarm clock. If you've got a heart rate monitor, pick something like cross training. We are doing cardio and strength training. So pick something like cross training. Let's stand it up, please. Make sure you have a towel nearby, some water, big inhale. And then just let's start moving the hips side to side, big inhale. Your own pace, big reaching, big breath in. Beautiful. Place your hands on your hips for me, please, and give me nice big hip circles. Wind it down. Can you maybe lift the heels off the ground. Come low and come up. Remember that song? Go low, go high, go, to, go low, go high. All right. I think that was Michelle Obama. Now reverse the direction. Beautiful. And come low again. Maybe lift the heels. Bend the knees. Don't fall over like I almost did. Keep your balance, kind of reaching it out. Beautiful job. And let's march it out for one minute. Now I wanna make sure you're pumping those arms. When you pump those arms, bring your wrists up to the shoulder or higher. Yeah, that's going to increase the heart rate. Beautiful. And then let's think about the rate at which we are lifting the foot off the ground. I want you to speed it up for me, please. Good. we have another 40 seconds here. Remember, we, I spoke about like the Cinderella. You know, she's like ding, 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 going up the steps, or ding, 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 going down, whichever one you, are you going to the ball? Or are you leaving that ball? Are you saying bye Prince, see you later? Good, come on, we have another about 20 seconds here. Speed it up just a little bit more, get a little bit uncomfortable with the movement. That's it. We have a no jump cardio today. Whoop, whoop. I know we like that, I, but it's so intense. All right, we're gonna slow it down in three, two, one. Nice job. Now alternating, let's focus on stretching out the legs with some dynamic stretches, moving in and out of the move. Beautiful. Try and get the thigh to touch the abdominals. Nice. And shake it out. All right, the opposite of that, quad stretch. Both hands grab the foot. That way we kind of stretching out the chest as well. Pull those elbows back. Alternate at your own pace. Maybe faster, maybe slower. Your workout. Nice. And shake it out for me. Beautiful. Now alternating hamstrings. Reach down and around and then alternate that foot. Big reach. Stretch the shoulders forward. Flatten that back. Oh, beautiful. This is two for me. We have one more each side. Nice. And we're gonna be doing some side lunges today. So let's kind of work on those inner outer thighs. Open the legs nice and wide. I'm at an angle just so that I'm stay on my mat. I want you to come down. Put the hand on the ground for some support and then up and over. Let's go to the other side. I want you to stay here for like a split second and then alternate. Bring your butt as low as you can. Bend your knee as deep as you can. Beautiful, one more time each side. Back to the other side, and now we're gonna meet in the middle. Tabletop in the middle. So fingertips touching the ground, back flat, head up, chin up. Yeah, belly button sucked in, and you're pushing the pelvis to the ceiling. 
Beautiful. Flatten the arms, drop the head. Nod yes with the head. Nod no with the head. Bend the knees deeply, heel toe the feet in so that you can come into a forward fold and roll it up. Beautiful. All right, one minute. Come on. What are you? That's it. There you go. That's it. Get a little uncomfortable with it. I know you can't see it, but my shirt has a message for us. Oh yeah, we're digging deep today. <laughs> I'll show you, don't worry. 30 more seconds. Hustle, come on, get really uncomfortable with it. Think about the speed of lifting the legs. Drive the wrist up to the shoulder at least. Oh, there's some lovely sweat on my upper lip. Attractive. <laughs> come on. We're going to stop in five, four, three, two. Good, shake it out. Now pay attention to your body. Do a little scan, you know, like those like computer scans. And you know what's happening. For me, it's my low back. My low back's been bothering me. So I'm going to do a cat cow. And then I'm going to do a little twist to release. You need to do whatever works for you. Beautiful. We're going to start shortly. My message on my shirt, it's kind of hard to read, but it says, a gold digger. What goals are we aiming for today? All right, so remember with the loading series, the workout is cut up into thirds. First third is 10 minutes cardio. Last third is 10 minutes cardio. But because this is do it twice, if it's nice, we're doing a 45 second push, 15 second rest. So I want you to get really uncomfortable in those, ten, in those 45 seconds. All right, okay. Get something to drink. Shake it out. We're beginning in about one minute. You're gonna need those five pound weights. Yeah, put them at the front of your mat, please. We're at the, they're at the front so you can see them, keep an eye on them, but make sure they're out of the way still. And the same thing with those big puppies back here. Make sure they don't turn into dogs, just puppies still. All right, we have 30 seconds to begin. We have five exercises for the 10 minute round. That means we're gonna do each exercise twice. We're gonna start with the sumo squat chop. I noticed on Monday that our arms were bending. We were like little T-Rexes hidden. T-Rex is extinct, people. So we're gonna come down to the right, swing up to the left. One weight in your hand, we're gonna begin in. Three, legs are wide, toes turned out. Two, one, let's go down to the right, swing up. Sumo squat chop. So make sure for you to get the squat, you have to bend the knee. And we're twisting. So these twists are giving us a little bit of a core work. It's like a twofer. Yeah, we're getting squats and core. Come on, that's it. So we have only 45 seconds, 25 gone, 20 to go. Can you get that weight to touch the foot? Just the right foot and then we swing up to the left. That's it, come on. Beautiful job. And take a break, rest. Now it's a narrow squat, elbow to knee. One weight up on the chest, three, two, one, squat, twist with the knee. Now you want the elbow to touch that knee. Again, that twisting motion, so we get a little bit of core work, obliques. Now to get your rectus involved, pull the belly in and up, like you want it to fit under the ribs. I know we're not gonna get there, but intention matters. Come on, that's it. Beautiful, can you bend those knees? Now make sure you are not leaning forward. We're not doing a deadlift or a good morning. We're doing a squat. Five seconds to go. No jump cardio, rest. 
you're going to need that second weight. Legs are hip width apart. Small bend in the knee. Shoulders are forward of the hips. Floor punch. Now, look at my shoulder girdle. Do you see how I'm doing a twist? Again. Core. Flat back, chest up. Now get uncomfortable with these. Come on. Drive that elbow high, past the back, and then punch towards the ground. 20 seconds to go. Come on. Rest. Keep the weights. Alternating knee with narrow overhead press. Now how many knees, how many presses? Up to you. Get at the shoulder. Let's go. Three, two, one. I'm connecting the press with my knee, but you don't have to. Now drive that knee higher than the hip. So this focuses on the rectus, the muscle that forms the six pack, which all of us have. Maybe you can't see it, but you've got it. If you didn't have it, you wouldn't be able to stand up. <sighs> Thank God. Come on, 20 seconds to go. <sighs> what makes this challenging and impressive on the heart is driving the head, the hands past the head. Straight up, all the way up and down, come on. <sighs> Less than 10 seconds. <sighs> and rest, get rid of the weight, just need one. Sumo squat chop, left leg. Legs wide, toes turned out. Coming down to the left, swinging up to the right. Let's go. So make sure here you are squatting. How do you know if you're squatting? Your knees are bending. Your knees are bending more than you are leaning forward. At your own pace, your workout. 20 seconds to go. And rest. Stay right here, halfway through, heading to that right leg. Come on, gold diggers. Three, two, down on the right, swing up to the left. Minute number six. Twenty seconds. Sumo squat, chop, chop that tree down. Well, let's think of something else because we don't want to chop down trees. They help us breathe. Thank goodness. Come on and rest. Narrow. Squat, elbow to knee. Three, two, one. Let's go. Twist and get that elbow to touch the knee. Good job. That's it. Come on, can you speed it up? Maybe today, that's okay. Come on, just keep going. 10 seconds. Come on, squat, twist, elbow to knee, and rest. Pick up the other weight.
Legs hip width. Bend the knees, tilt forward. Slant, floor punch. Now make sure your shoulders and hips are in a straight line. Brace the abdominals, so pull that belly button in and up. 20 seconds. Five. Rest. Alternating knee, narrow overhead press. Get those weights. Let's go. Now I'm seeing this. We're not lifting that knee, come on. Lift it up, higher than the hip. This will help with range of motion, keeping those hips healthy. Twenty seconds. Rest. Get rid of the weight. Just need one. Sumo. Squat, chop, coming down on the left, up and twist on the right. Let's go. This is your last 45 for the first third. Twist it out. Come low, go high. Twenty seconds. Rest. You're done your first third. Well done. White drink. I really want you to stay standing and moving. Not standing still, standing and moving. White trick. All right. I've got a particular love-hate relationship for loading series five because the cardio makes you work the upper body and the lower body quite a bit. So I'm just warning you right now. Okay, just like in upper body, we had five exercises. We have five exercises for the lower body. We're doing three sets of 10. And because this is 2.0, we are doing five singles, five down quick, up slow. Okay, so the idea is explode down and with control and resist on the way up. Muscle under tension. How long can you keep that muscle under tension? All right, giving you another minute and then we start working. Okay, we're gonna be doing two sissies type exercises. A sissy means, I don't know why they call it sissy, you know, it's such a derogatory word. I'm not sure, but anyway, you know, don't shoot the messenger. We're raising our heels. So you need to start prepping. You wanna have your weights set up even so that you can stand on them and your heels are off the ground. Okay, this is really good for the beginning of knees over toes to help create really healthy knees. All right, we're starting with the sissy squat so the legs are hip width apart. Grab your puppies 
and bring them to the party. Want to make it nice and deep? All right, that's your break over. Come to me, set it up safely. Make sure your heels are up. All right, five singles. Three, two, one, let's go. Five, down and up. Four, three, two, and one. Now down quick, up slow. Five, resist. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Step off the weights, put your weights down. Shake it out. Round two, same thing. Bend your knees, pick up your weights. Back it up, lift the heels. Make sure you're steady. Same thing, three, two, one, let's go. Five, four, three. Make sure your knees are coming straight forward. Two, go as deep as you can, one. Down quick, up slow, five, four, come on, three, two, and one. Good job. Step off the weights, put the heels down, bend the knees deeply. One more set. Now my weights are lighter than the last time we did five. And that's because of that lower back. I don't want to over aggravate the lower back. Yeah, it's healing. So I'm playing it a little bit safe. Yeah, healing first, recovery first before pushing. All right, let's go. And I say these things to you because I know these things happen to you as well. And you need to know how to adjust for your own safety. In three, two, one, five singles, let's go. Five, down all the way and all the way up. Four, three, two, go lower, and down quick up slow. Five, four, explode down with control, come up slow. Three, two, and one. Good job. Step off, bend your knees. Move those little weights out of the way. Wipe drink. New exercise. I'm running out of water. I drank more water than I thought this morning. Excellent. I love the control I saw. The only thing I would like a little bit more, from my perspective, is I'd like you to go a little deeper into the range, okay? So we want a full range squat, yeah? That mean might be dropping a little lower than the knee. And that's because when we drop all the way into the squat, we work all the way up into the origin, right? We do the entire range of the muscle. And that's really important. Muscle has an origin and an insertion, right, Portia? Right, okay. Round two, sumo, sissy sumo. Now, this is tricky. Grab your little weights, yeah? Spread your legs, turn your toes out, and then kind of see where your heels are and put your little weights behind them, yeah? Organize it, yeah? So that way, it's where your feet should be. Set it up first, okay. Let's go, grab the puppies. You're taking them to the bar now. You brought them to the party, now you're bringing them to the bar. All right, one leg at a time. Take your time here. Set up for sumo. Sumo is where the feet are turned out. So now the knees are not coming straight forward, they're turning out, just like the toes are turned out. And to make it harder, we're going to put the weights on the shoulders. Yes, I know, why? Five singles, three, two, one. Let's go, down and up. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Good. Down quick, up slow. Five, four, come lower. Three, two, uh, and one. Mm, good. Try not to move your little weights on the ground. Step forward, bend the knees, shake it out. Try not to hit those. Now, how did they feel? Do you need to adjust those little weights? Mine are good. All right, here we go. Round two. Pick it up. What book did you pick? By the way, good book to read. Uh, the Covenant of Water. You know, Cutting for Stone. Same author. Very good books. Um, what else am I? I'm reading The Wager now. It's about, it's like a non-fiction fiction story, like a historical fiction, I suppose. <sighs> totally out of my depth. It's all about sailing and war and... Anyway, let's go. Pick up the weights. Set it up. Two more. Turn the toes out. <sighs> Bring those weights to the shoulders. Let's go. Three, two, one. Five singles. Down and up. Five, four, three, two, down quick up slow, five, muscle under tension, four, three, two, give me one more, good. Step off, bend the knees, put the weights down. Walk it around. I'm also a big fan of Barbara King Solva, her last big book, Demon Copperhead. Excellent. I think she won the Pulitzer for that. I love her. I mean, she's alive and everything, but if I could come back as somebody else, I would want to be her. I know, you go, why, Suzanne, why? Yeah. <laughs> Deep down inside, maybe I want to be a writer. Yeah, I know, Mandy, your mom always told me, right? Okay, last sissy sumo, and let's, I mean, we need to think of another word, other than sumo, right? Sorry, other than sissy. Set it up. Heels are lifted. Toes are turning out, legs are wide. Weights on the shoulders. Are we ready to go? In three, two, one, five singles, pump it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Down quick, up slow. Five, four, ah, you got this. Three, two, one more. Good, step off, take the weights to the back of the mat. No more sissies, get rid of the books, hold the little weights. You're gonna need those little weights around the third set, right? That last set of cardio, so just push them out of the way. White drink. All right. So, narrow squats, work quads. Lifting the heels, work the quads a little bit more. Sumo, work inner thigh. Lifting the heels, work the quads a little more. Forward lunge, that's what we're doing next. Yeah. That should just finish off the legs. <laughs> so we're doing some unilateral training. Set one, right leg forward. Set two, left leg forward. Set three, alternating the legs. Okay? So for the first set, we don't move the legs. We do like a static lunge. For the second set, we do a static lunge again. And then for the last set, that's when we do kind of like a variation of a walking lunge. 
moving in and out of the lunge. Make sure that when you're stepping forward, you're not going so wide that you have to bring back the leg in multiple steps, okay? You want control. And make sure that you are bending the knees as deeply as possible. Let's go. Third exercise, standing at the back of your mat, bend it over, pick up those puppies. I don't know what you're doing with them. They've already gone to the bar, they're invited to the party, I mean really. Okay, think train tracks, not tight ropes. Step the right leg forward so the left heel is off the ground. Five singles, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Down quick, up slow. Five. Resist on the way up. Four, three, two. Can you tap the knee to the ground? Full range, good. Step back, get rid of the weight. Walk it out. I'm feeling that quad, yeah? That's from lifting those heels. Okay, round two here, left leg forward. I encourage you to try and get the knee as close to the ground as possible. That will give you the full range in the lunge. Okay, here we go. All the way to the back of your mat. Pick up your weights for me, please, by bending your knees deeply. Left leg forward. Think train tracks. Right heel off the ground. Three, two, one. Five singles. Five, four, three. I'm wobbly. Two and one. Down quick, up slow. Five. Four, three, muscle under tension, two, and one. Good job. Shake it out. Gold digger. This is it now. We're past the halfway mark in the workout and we're tired. I know, me too, okay? Now this is where you start training your brain, telling your brain, hey beautiful, you can do hard things. Let's go, pick it up. Now we're alternating. Slightly harder, a little bit more balance and coordination involved. Legs hip width apart, bend the knees deeply, pick up the babies. Now it's babies, what? We don't take babies to the bar. All right, here we go. Right leg first, three, two, one. Step it forward, lunge. Step it back, left. That's one. Right, left, two. Right, left, three. Right, left. I'm counting too fast. Four. Let's go, last singles. Oh. Good. Now step forward, down quick, up slow. Step back. A little bit more control here. Down quick, up slow. Five. Down quick, up slow. Down quick, up slow. Four. Three more each side. Two more each side. One more each side. Resist on the way up, come on. Get rid of the weights. White drink. Two more exercises. Okay, exercise number four is also unilateral. So we do one set on the right, one set on the left, one set alternating, okay? 
You can get rid of one week here. So take it, kick the puppy out of the party. He's getting on bad. You don't need that anymore. Okay, side lunge. Legs are wider than sumo, but there's no turnout in the toe. So toes are pointing where your nose should be pointing. Yeah? I'm only at a diagonal so that my feet stay on the mat. Okay? All right. Pick up your weight, please. Your right hip closest to me. Let's rest. Actually, let's rest the weight on our right leg. Legs wide. So that left leg, let me see if I can. Yeah, I think that's better for you. This knee is not bending at all. This knee is bending deeply. The knee closest to me. Five singles. Let's go three, two, one, five, four, three, two, go lower, one. Now down quick up slow, five, resist on the way up, four, slower is better, three, I know some people say this is a waste of an exercise, two, I don't believe anything is a waste of an exercise, one, every minute counts, Every movement counts. Take your break. So you're going to hear things like that. I know social media, you know, people talking. And what happens is the more we hear something, the more we start to believe it. So people say things like, this exercise will get you. There's, that's not true. <laughs> what strength training does is it gets you stronger. Okay? Yeah, that's what it does. Let's pick it up, please. Flip your direction so your left hip is closest to me. Now this time the right knee does not bend. No turnout in the toes. Five singles, bending the left knee deeply. Let's go three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Down quick, up slow, resist. Down quick. Up slow, you should feel that nice, deep tension in that inner thigh. Two more, down quick. One more, down quick. Good job. Bend the knees, bring the legs together. Rest the weights. Okay, alternating. So we're gonna hold the weight now up on the chest. Okay, and we're gonna alternate from right to left. This is our last set of inner. Okay, are we ready? No time like the present. Okay, it doesn't matter what hip is closest to me because we're gonna be alternating. All right, let's go, set it up. I like to bring it on my chest first before I spread my legs. That way I can contract my core. All right, keeping it up. Let's go right to left, three, two, one, five singles. Right, up and over left. One. Two, deeply. Three. Four, one more. Nice job. Now, down quick, up slow. Down quick on the other side, up slow. One, again. Two, three more. Two more. Drop that butt low, bend that knee. Last one. Bend the knees, bring it together. Kick that puppy out of the party. Your last, your last exercise does not require any weights. Okay. There's only one set of 10 here, and they're all single time. Okay, here's what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna do a lunge, and then you have to rotate into a side lunge. Yeah? And then you have to rotate back. Forward lunge, side lunge. Yeah? Okay? 
Am I doing that right? Now, I'm going to do 10 on the right, and we're not stopping, and we're going to do 10 on the left, and that's it for the strength. So for the second set where I'm doing my left leg, I will be facing away from you. Yeah? So you will also be facing away from me. Okay? That's okay. That's okay. You can keep count. I'll try and keep out loud count, but I want you to go at your own pace. You are twisting, and so I don't want you to force it or rush it because I don't want you to hurt or twist your ankle. Okay, I want you to take your time, especially if you're like on a mat like mine, that's a little bit grippy, okay? You don't wanna be on something too slippery because then you might slip, but grippy can be a little bit challenging, so at your own pace. All right, let's go. Right leg forward, left leg back, heel off the ground. We're doing singles, okay? Tap that left knee, one, turn, side. Good, face me, two. Coordination, balance, three. Four. Five. Five to go. Five. Take your time, set it up. Four. A lot of deep into the hip here. Three. Face me. Two. Face away from me. One more time. Right leg. Good. Left. Now turn it away so your left leg, oops, right is forward. Are we there? Okay, you're facing away from me. Let's go. Lunge, side. Lunge, side, lunge, rotate in and out of it. This is three. Come on, we have four. Okay, so it's not perfect. Just keep trying. Five. Every movement counts. Six. Adjust the feet as you need. Seven. Eight. Nine. And lunge. Side lunge. We are done the strength training. So that rotation really helps to, you know, get deep into the groin. It also really makes you start thinking and focusing on the exercise. I bet you weren't thinking about your shopping list or what you gotta do at work. <laughs> you can't do that. And that's one of the benefits of exercising like that. It can take your mind off of something because you gotta focus on the present. And focusing on the present is extremely beneficial to mental health. Wipe, drink, we got 10 minutes to go and we are finished. I'm gonna give you about another minute, 10 seconds rest. Cardio. We're two thirds of the way through. Are you like feeling like your ball and socket joint, your hip, is your hip talking to you? Oh. Mine is. Mine is saying, hey, hey. Hey, gold digger. <laughs> okay, guys, 40 seconds. Take your last sip. If you got a bra on, fix it. If you got pants on, pull them up. Grab your little two or the pair of five pounds or lighter. Place them on the front of your mat. Pick up one starting in 20 seconds. Sumo squat chop to the right side. 10 seconds. Legs nice and wide, please. 
Remember the arms need to stay nice and straight and you want a nice deep bend in both your knees. Turn the toes out in three, two, one, 10 minutes and we're done. Let's go. 45 work, 15 rest. Oh, are you feeling that like inner thigh? Maybe bring your legs in a little bit closer for that sumo if it's feeling like a little too much. Remember I told you I have like a love-hate relationship with five? Yeah, this is why. Are your legs feeling like heavy like lead? Do you feel like you're moving slower? You are, it's okay. That's part of it. Hey beautiful, you can do hard things. 10 seconds. Rest. Squat elbow to knee. Three, two, one, minute two, let's go. That's it. Nice and steady. I just want you to keep moving for these 45. Now twist it up, get that elbow to the knee. That's it. Beautiful, keep going. 15 seconds. Good job, rest. Pick up your other weight, please. Slant four punch. Three, two, one, twist that girdle. Minute three, 10 in total. Twenty seconds to go. Rest. Keep both weights. Alternate knee. Narrow overhead press. Three, two, one. Twenty five seconds. Minute four. Ten in total. You got this. Oh, are you tired too? Oh, I am. Rest. Get rid of one weight. Sumo squat chop, left leg. Three, two, one. Minute five, halfway through. Are your arms straight? Are you twisting the core? Fifteen seconds. Rest. Oh, my nose is running. Sorry. 
Five minutes to go. Squat chop right. Let's go. Other side. Doing like, how many squats are we doing? A crap load. <laughs> 20 seconds left here, come on. Elbow to knee. Three, two, one. So now I know a lot of the workout videos you see very well manicured and edited. Yeah. Uh-uh. Not here. It is as it is for me right now, this morning. I'm with you. I know exactly how you feel. This is minute seven, ten total. We have five more seconds here. Come on. I want you to see what it's like. Again. We see all these manicured videos and we think that that's how it is in real life. You don't see sweat pouring down anybody's face. Pick up your other weight. Floor punch. Minute eight. And they definitely don't ever have to blow their nose. <laughs> Yeah, exercise helps loosen anything in the sinus. <laughs> 20 seconds, come on. Come on, come on. Stay with me. Rest. Alternating narrow overhead press. Okay, it's an alternating knee narrow overhead press. Let's go. It's not alternating no overhead press. But if you wanted to, one hand at a time, you could. Minute nine, 10 total. Twenty seconds. Rest. Oh, get rid of that five pound. You only need one weight. Sumo squat chop left. Arm straight. Let's go. So I brought those legs in a little bit to help release some of the tension on that inner thigh. Twenty-five seconds to go. This is minute ten. You are done after this. Twenty seconds. 15, oh. 10, 5 seconds, rest, oh. well done, wipe drink, move, walk it out, 
It ain't gonna be easy. After all that digging, did you get that goal? I think you did. I think you did a fantastic job. As you can tell, pretty breathless. That's how it is. I think five's pretty tough for me on a whole. And that's why we revisit, yeah? We revisit so, you know, we can see, oh, okay, yeah, that, that combo, that weighted no jump with all these, you know, unilateral moves, tough on the, tough on the body. Hmm. No more water, oh well. I wanna encourage you to drink water, yeah? The more the merrier, okay? Particularly when you're thirsty. <laughs> All right, come back to me please, side tap. We are almost done. I'm gonna try and make the workout less than 60 minutes. We have like five minutes left. All right, open the legs nice and wide, release the hips. And other direction. Just a quick release of the upper body. Good, bring the legs to hip width, please. Clasp the hands, push down, tuck the chin around the back. Lift the head, lift the hands to shoulder height. Push the hands forward, spreading the shoulder blades. Beautiful, forward first, forward first. And now up, pull it back now. Lift the head, lift the chin. Good, and release. Okay, some static stretches for the leg. First, the quad. Hold it here. Lift the hand above the head, go a little deeper. Pull that right knee a little bit behind. Push that right hip forward. Good, take it all the way out in front. Hamstring. First, square the shoulders. Make sure that right foot is flexed. Push the butt back, flat back. Chin up, eyes on me. That's going to help you lengthen. Good, now reach down, grab the toe. Pull on the toe, stretching out that calf. Excellent job. Let's go to the left leg. Weight on the right. Lift it up, pull that left knee back a little bit. Push that left hip forward a little bit. Excellent, take it all the way out in front. Square first. Now reach down, pull on that too. Stretching out that calf as well. Good, shake it out. Take the legs nice and wide. Come down, bend that right knee deeply. Beautiful. Walk the hands over to the left side. Bend the left knee deeply. Okay, walk it back over to the right side. Now this time, I want you to kind of drop your butt and lift that left foot. So let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the butt and look at how my left foot comes up. Can you see it? I'm trying to get in frame. See my left foot is up? Good. Hands wherever you need support. Okay, walk it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Drop the butt. Now, left foot is up, so you're just on that. Sorry, the right heel is, right foot is up. You're on the right heel. Good, now we're gonna come into the center. Straddle, forward fold, tabletop, fingertips on the ground, head up, chin up, back flat. Drop down, straddled, forward fold, legs straight as possible. Bend the knees, heel toe the feet so that you're in a regular forward fold. Drop the head, pull down through the calves. Bend the knees deeply, roll it up. Big inhale, exhale. Big inhale, exhale. One more time, so proud of you, thank you. Look at your hands as they clasp above the head. Take them prayer arms down to the heart of the matter. Oh, I can't say enough how proud I am of you, showing up, working out, sweating with me. Totally appreciate it. You're an awesome gold digger, we can do this again. Thanks for working out with me. I hope you have a fantastic day. Ooh, ooh, my finger's not working. See you later, alligator.